It's no secret that SC24 has to be the worst FIFA title to ever be released by EA. Wait. We can't even say that because it's not even called FIFA anymore. Big creators like Castro don't even stream or make content on the game anymore. And some can argue, well, he's just grown up and busy with the Kings League. Okay, well, what about AA9 skills? All this man knows is FIFA, yet he doesn't stream it as often anymore. And every two weeks or so, he uploads a video saying, this is why FC24 is ruined or FIFA Ultimate Team will never be the same. So the question here is, where does it all start? How exactly did this game right here kill the FIFA community. Let me start off with the most basic change that was made, which is the name. For as long as FIFA has been around, it's been named FIFA in every single title, but this would be the first time that changes because negotiations to renew the contract failed. Now some of you may be saying, well, okay, it's just a name change, it's not that serious. But it is, because just imagine for a second that you love McDonald's, but one day that changes because they decided to call it something like Rolling Dolans. <laughs> I don't know, but the point is that the company is no longer recognizable and every consumer behind that is less likely to go now. Another perfect example of this is Twitter being called X. No matter what, people are still gonna refer to it as Twitter. So now if we take all of this and tie it back into FIFA, when people hear FIFA, whether they've played the game or not before, they're like, ah yes, I've heard of that game. It looks like a lot of fun. But now when you say something like, did you get FC24, everyone's gonna be looking at you like what the f is that some ripoff game and this right here just goes to show how much authenticity was behind FIFA and in that name everyone already knew what to expect when you heard the term FIFA and because of that now when you hear FC 24 the community behind that is just not the same and now the overall community got cut into a smaller portion which most likely has the loyal fan base that includes people like you and me but aside from that let's just be honest with ourselves FC 24 literally just sucks. It's like when they were developing this game, they really did not care at all. Before it was released, it was being hyped up as the revival of FIFA because as all of you may know, we were already on the decline of the FIFA series. The graphics were looking like something we've never seen before, we are being introduced to new gameplay features making it a more realistic experience, but then you get the game and you see the ugliest menu that you'll ever see in any FIFA game. Honestly, I really don't know what in their minds made them think, oh, let's just make the most basic menu, throw everything as soon as you get into the game, not even a title screen with like the cover athletes or any of that. You just go into the game and you see this ugly ass interface. Now, of course, that's like the least of our problems when it comes to this game, but if we get into the more bigger things, which is the gameplay itself, there are so many things wrong when it comes to this. Firstly, the speed of the game. Everything became a lot much slower and this has been happening since the previous titles apparently. Now, I can't personally speak too much because if you ask me, I stopped playing FIFA religiously back in like FIFA 19. You guys see that rack right there? Those games right here started from FIFA 14 and stopped at 19. But when I played these games and compared it to back then when I used to just go all in, all I would do is come home from school, work, whatever, and just hop on FIFA and play, the gameplay was completely different. Now I get it. As we advance more into the future, you want to implement new things, make the game feel more realistic, but they went too far with this to where it actually made the game very bad and one dimensional. Literally this game has went from being attacking based to completely defensive, everything is so slow on top of that and the AIs that they added to just react to the ball and like make it a more realistic experience, that's not what I got from playing this one. The AI reactions are literally so stupid that they make the refs call the dumbest things and then I don't know what it is but they put like 99 defense on these AIs because you can't even get the simplest of through balls to whoever you're passing it to and it's just so insane that this happens to me all the time whenever I'm trying to make a career mode video and I'm just like I'm not trying to sweat while I'm playing offline like okay you know 
FIFA, I get it. It's sweaty. Everybody plays it and they all want to win. But when I'm playing against a computer and if it's not on Legendary especially, I am not expecting to be playing like it's a freaking World Cup game. So yeah, it seems like they rely too much on the AI algorithms and not enough on the actual mechanics in the game. I don't even know if that still exists. But boy, do I miss the days where I just used to have an automatic connecting pass, not having to worry about it's going to pass it off into like the freaking crowd or off to the wrong person or literally directly to the defense i feel like that happens way too often now more than it actually does in real life like this is professional players that we're talking about they don't make these kinds of errors but moving on more specifically to what's actually being offered in the game well Yeah, there's nothing. It's literally the same thing it's been for like the last 10 years. FIFA Ultimate Team will, and it seems, always will be the king of this freaking game. This whole time that has been their bread and butter and they've just been focusing on it and that solely. Now I'm gonna be honest, I can't speak too much on this because I personally, like I said, only really played FIFA for pro clubs and seasons. I never really got into FIFA Ultimate Team, but the time that I did, which was back in like 2014, 2015, it was so much fun and completely different than what it is today. There's so many things that made this game mode start to fail, and I'm gonna start off with the most basic thing, and it's just the competition behind it. I'm not talking about the actual player base. Listen, no matter what, no matter where you go, if someone asks you to play FIFA, you and that person, you're gonna sweat your ass off. Just like as if someone was to ask you, yo, let's play 2K or yo, let's run some Madden. It's the same thing, no matter what, there's always gonna be that competition base. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how EA is actually catering every single game mode that's in FIFA Ultimate Team to be competitive and it all starts with the skill based matchmaking i mean who wants to play friendlies and sweat their ass off like it just doesn't make sense the whole point of friendlies is to have fun right that's literally how they play it in real life it's called friendlies for goddamn sake and aside from the competition base i mean back in 2018 when they first got that lawsuit about gambling in the game according to the fifa ultimate team community Ever since that lawsuit, the RNG changed for the game, making it more common for everybody to start getting these legendary cards. And that in itself makes it a problem because it brings the value of those cards down. FIFA Ultimate Team is like a collectibles in a sense, you know, just like Funkos for example. I have a whole bunch of those things around my room, but the reason why I don't collect it as much anymore is because they started producing too much of these common things or just too similar to like what's supposed to be the special kind and then what the normal kind looks like and it just doesn't make it as appealing anymore to go after it now i'll let you guys be the judge of this but it seems like the content that they've been producing for this they've reached their cap with what they can do everything pretty much seems to be the same thing every year you know it's just same thing maybe like a rating different or two and just a new year and a new picture honestly like i said don't count on me on that because i don't really play the game mode but I feel like that's maybe what most of you feel like when you play this now. And the main thing to take away from all of this is you know it's bad when you don't see the FIFA Ultimate Team creators making FIFA Ultimate Team videos anymore. Most of them have moved on, like I said, to doing bigger things, doing different type of content. And if you look at FIFA content in general on YouTube, the majority of what's being watched right now is usually having to do with career mode or just like what if simulations where you pretty much just like oh what if this team was in this league or just yada 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 the fan base and the creators just seem to be tired of that game mode in general it's not the same as it used to be back in the days like i mentioned and it's just kind of like a tricky question when you think about it to yourself because it's like is it that we grew up out of this game like we grew up out of this phase and it's just not the same anymore when it comes to those things or is it the content itself is not fun anymore like it's just the same thing and we're tired of it now all of this does sound really bad but what if I told you it could have all been avoided? What if I told you that all of this mostly happened because the FIFA company itself is no longer in the picture? Now, of course, don't get me wrong, EA is now off the hook. Their greed has definitely got to them. But there's also other factors that we gotta take into consideration because when FIFA is not in the picture, there's certain things that are being eliminated, like the World Cup, for example. Since FIFA owns the rights to things like that, 
EA can't really incorporate things like the World Cup mode that we had back in 2014 or the World Cup game that we had back in 2010. A good portion of their ideas to bring innovation to the game were taken away, but not all of it. So the real question here is, what can they do to revive the game? What can they do to bring FIFA back to its glorious days like it once was? And honestly, I think it's really simple. Just focus on the other game modes that you have, pro clubs for example, Focus on that, make it just like how 2K has it where there's like a my player mode, my park, and all these storylines that you can do. And it works in your favor because EA is all about the money, right? You guys want to do all these microtransactions. There's your opportunity right there. And 100% this is something that's going to succeed because it's something that we've never experienced as football lovers in this game or any game in general. Yes, Pro Clubs is like the closest thing to that, but we all know it's not the same. And speaking of 2K, apparently they are involved in the next one. I don't know if it was going to be 25 or 26, but apparently they're in the talks and they're going to be involved in the next title or two. I don't know how true that is, but if it is... That is literally the best news that we can hear as far as FIFA fans. And lastly, one more thing that EA can do to revive their game is just add more in-game events. And what I mean by that is just don't focus it all to be in FIFA Ultimate Team. Spread it out into other game modes, spread it out to pro clubs, spread it out to seasons, spread it out to career mode. I don't know, just expand it to where people don't always have to just play this game and grind their ass and be strictly playing to skill-based matchmaking. I mean, it's like, dude, do you guys not see what's going on around you? Like me, for example, I've played a lot of Call of Duty since I was like 10 years old. In 2020, when they started adding skill-based matchmaking to Warzone and all the other Call of Duty titles that came after that, don't get me wrong, yes, I love to be competitive, but if I'm being forced to play every single game like it's the World Cup, that is not fun. Leave that strictly to the ranked modes where you actually do that and earn a reward for it. Like, I don't want to play, do all of that just to get a W in my records. I want to do that to get some rewards that makes me progress further in the game. Then it'll all feel like it's worth it and you won't be so upset about versing like the most elite players. I think a good balance of that and just along with everything else I mentioned in this video will be the benefactor of what makes FIFA successful again but like most games we don't know because every single year they just keep implementing the smallest slightest features that don't really change from the previous year so it just makes it not worth spending that 60 well now $70 just to get the game anyways I think I did enough chatting and ranting in this video I'm curious to hear what you guys think is there anything that I missed out on that you guys think could improve the FIFA game or you just want want to see in future FIFA games in general. This is just how I've been feeling lately when it comes to FIFA because I started this channel mainly just to do FIFA games. You guys can look at my other channel where I played FIFA before but I didn't ever stick to it because like I said we were in that period of downfall. It is what it is. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on it. Till then take it easy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.